gravity is no reason for levity. And even if it is, William Skinner of Miami still believes in his invention, which he calls a gravity power machine. Some engineers say that William's claims are fantastic, but that doesn't stop William from demonstrating on a model what he says should be as clear as mud. He takes a thin cotton thread and drives the machine from a one-eighth horsepower motor. Shafts fitted with weights turn on an off-center axis and the weights go round and around. That simple action, says our William, sets up enough energy to multiply the existing power by 1,200%. On that basis, the machine driving a generator could produce power for a township of 3,500 at a cost of a pound a month. He runs a 12-foot lathe with his gravity machine and with only an eighth horsepower peels off steel ribbons a quarter of an inch wide. But still the engineers are skeptical. which he calls a gravity power machine. Some engineers say that William's claims are fantastic, but that doesn't stop William from demonstrating on a model what he says should be as clear as mud. He takes a thin cotton thread and drives the machine from a one-eighth horsepower motor. Shafts fitted with weights turn on an off-center axis and the weights go round and around. That simple action, says our William, sets up enough energy to multiply the existing power by 1,200%. On that basis, the machine driving a generator could produce power for a township of 3,500 at a cost of a pound a month. He runs a 12-foot lathe with his gravity machine with only an eighth horsepower peels off steel ribbons a quarter of an inch wide. But still the engineers are skeptical. <laughs> 